So we'll do a full system scan, see what it can uh, find, repair, delete, whatever, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to do the scan, and I will be back whenever this is done. Ah, well, here you go. Found the root kit. So, um, in memory. And that's why I can't do anything about it. Uh, hopefully it'll clean this up, and we'll try it again. So I'll be back whenever that's done. Okay, so, back again after, uh, doing that second scan and apparently it can't get rid of that uh, root kit so we're gonna try to do another scan here and this time I'm just going to leave that uh, I'm gonna skip this so right now this computer is infected with a root kit that it can see but it can't get rid of um, after I do this scan I'm gonna try to do that system restore thing but like I said my opinion is that if you let it in um, and you can't clean it doing a system restore okay that's one way to get around um, but it, you sh it should never have been let in in the first place pure and simple um, trying to clean up a computer after it's been infected is a, just a pain it's really hard to do. You have to use multiple products and all that fun stuff. An ultimate security suite would not let that in in the first place. So you never have to worry about cleaning it up. That's just my view, though. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's more important to keep the computer clean than it is to try to clean it up after you've let it inf uh, let an infection in. So. Some people might disagree with that, but I think that's more important than trying to clean it after. So, I'm going to let this scan, and I'll be back whenever it's done. See you then. Okay, so, finally, after an hour and nine minutes, the full scan uh, finished here, and it found no threats. We do know that, um, that TDSS has not been removed yet. So what I'm going to do, uh, first off, is I'm going to run malware bytes um, just to kind of see if there's anything else other than that uh, root kit left over after that um, I'm gonna try to run that uh, whatever you call it that system restore that they offer to run and then I'm gonna run malware bytes again but I'm not gonna remove anything with malware bytes the first time I run it and I guess I'll just run hitman pro just to kind of see uh, leftovers this is annoying okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run malwarebytes and hitman pro and show you the results and then we're gonna go from there so I'll be back when those two are done scanning okay so I did a scan with hitman pro um, and you can see we have a DNS server got changed we have um, a TDL3 rootkit. We have a Trojan, we have that rootkit, Trojan, malware, malware, and a bunch of cookies. And the system's infected pretty bad to the point of malware bytes won't even run. So, uh, as you can see, it's pretty nasty infection. So, I'm going to try the built in system restore that. Uh, they have here but in my opinion this is already a failure um, if I have to like I said before if I have to perform a post system restore it's just it's useless already it's already let you down now it's just gonna try its best to clean it up so let's just see what happens here I've never used this feature before uh, Okay. So really all that does is change settings. It doesn't actually perform a system restore. Well, that's kind of useless. Um 
yeah. So let's try something here. I got a couple of things in my uh, testing toolkit here. See what we can do. Um, I'm getting the system, at least being able to get malware bytes up and running. There's a little application that removes um, malware that might be blocking malware bytes from running. So I'm going to let this work and um, I'll see you when it's done. I don't know how long it's going to take, so I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, even my little tool didn't work and now it went to a blue screen of death. So best thing I can say is um, this was a pretty good failure by Kaspersky Internet Security 2011. Um, version 11.0.1.400 whatever you want to call it the system is still very infected and um, that's that it uh, it cannot clean up the system um, because it let an infection in and like we know cleaning up an infection is very very hard so now what I'd have to do is I'd have to get a bootable CD, get different antiviruses, different products together, and start scanning and try to clean it up. It would take hours of work uh, if this was a real PC. So that being said, I think I'm going to finish up this review. Um, Malwarebyte still wasn't working. Hitman Pro worked. Uh, but I'm sure it missed a good deal of things. And I think that's about it. Um, hope you guys liked the review, and I'll talk to everybody later. Take care.